No, this isn't last year's Moto Z. This is actually the second generation Moto Z Play. You'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between the two, but trust me, as neat as this thing is, the new Moto Z 2 Play is actually a pretty peculiar machine. We're still working on the full review, but let's take a closer look in the meantime. First up, the basics. It has a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED screen that's been very easy to read even under the bright Taiwanese sun. Inside you'll find Qualcomm's Snapdragon 626 chipset and either 3 or 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now here's what you've got to remember. Last year's Z Play wasn't a powerhouse and this really wasn't meant to be one either, but it's more than enough for my daily routine. Just don't expect it to run your favorite intense games at full speed. There's a fairly impressive 12 megapixel camera around back that's incredibly fast to focus too, though I'll have to do a little more digging before rendering a verdict. It's important to note all of your Moto mods still work here and Motorola has cooked up a few new ones even though they feel a little similar. My favorite so far, for example, is a turbo charging battery pack that's meant for super fast recharges. Oh, and the standard headphone jack is back, even though the device is incredibly thin. In fact, some people might find it a little too thin, but I actually kind of love this design. The Z2 Play runs the latest version of Android Nougat, and you can use it to talk to Google Assistant like you have been able to for quite some time now. Motorola, however, has cooked up a new approach of its own though. Just say, show me my calendar or show me my settings, and the device will respond usually by giving you an icon you can slide down to access your info. Sometimes it's quicker to respond than Google Assistant, but other times I'm left wondering why we have two different approaches for a set of similar problems. Don't get me wrong here, Motorola's idea is clever and honestly very well executed. I'm just not sure if it's worth using over Google Assistant full time yet. And now we get to the really odd stuff. The single best reason to buy last year's Moto Z Play was its awesome battery life, but this year's model only has a 3000 milliamp hour battery and I don't think I need to tell you it doesn't stack up quite as well. You'll want to hang tight for a full review, but for now I can say I'm honestly a little disappointed in Motorola. The trio of Moto Zs we got last year honestly felt pretty complete. There was, after all, the high-end, almost unbreakable Z Force on one end, the modestly powerful Z Play on the other, and the incredibly sleek Z smack in the middle. This time though, that plain Z model is nowhere to be found and some of its defining characteristics wind up on this phone instead. Long story short, the sequel to the Z Force seems like it's going to be Motorola's true flagship champion and this, well, it's a mashup of the Z and Z Play but hasn't really felt as compelling as either of those originals. It's been a solid enough device in our testing so far but I'm just getting a lot of mixed signals here. I mean look, it's thinner than the original Z Play, but its battery is not as good. It's as sleek as the original Moto Z and has a headphone jack, but it lacks the Z's sheer power. It's a really nice device so far, but it leaves me with a lot of mixed feelings. I'll have those sorted out soon though, so stay tuned for more in the meantime.